Today we're talking about two pro-level soldering stations that are new for A-Main Hobbies. These things are some serious equipment for the serious RC enthusiasts. So let's check them out. So what we have are the Thermaltronics TMT 2000S and 9000S soldering stations. This here is the 2000S. Now, like I mentioned, these are pro level or even lab grade soldering stations with some really cool features. And I don't believe they've ever been available at hobby shops before, but A-Main has them. Now, what makes these things so darn cool? Well, they heat up instantly and they melt solder in the blink of an eye. Now, before I get ahead of myself, you'll notice that there's no temperature control knob or dial on the front of this unit. And that's because there's actually no need to manually set the temperature on these stations. Instead, these solder stations use something called curry heat technology, which means the iron responds to the heat demands of the particular solder joint and instantly adjusts the heat supplied to the tip. So basically the iron automatically and instantly adjusts the temperature to where it needs to be to get the job done. The soldering stations are able to do this because the curry heat technology works off an RF or radio frequency signal. The 2000S output frequency is at 470 kilohertz and the larger 9000S is at 13.56 megahertz. It basically allows these soldering stations to auto adjust and regulate the temperature nearly instantly. Now, an important component to how this technology works are these tips, but it's not just a tip. It's an actual all-in-one unit containing the tip and the heater into a single cartridge. And these cartridges are not only available in different tip types, if you need a big or small, depending on what type of soldering job you're doing, but these cartridges are also available in different heat ranges, depending on how much heat you will need or not need, and then they're color coordinated. On the low temp range are the blue cartridges. In the middle are the yellow cartridges. And on the high heat side are the red cartridges. For our typical RC applications, we tend to need more heat. So that's why both of the soldering stations at A-Main Hobbies will include the red five millimeter chisel tip cartridge. Although the 9000S will also include a second yellow cartridge with a finer tip. Now replacing these cartridges are super easy. There's no screws or set screws holding them in. You wanna power off the unit first, take the little cartridge pad that's included and then wrap the cartridge up and just pull it out. It's as easy as that. And then the base here has different slots where you can store all your different cartridges for all your different solder needs. Then to reinstall a cartridge, you just grab it with the pad and then you wanna just insert it and push it straight into the handle and that's it, it's ready to go. Because of that curry heat technology, these solder stations never need any type of temperature calibration either. In fact, the alloy that's used in the construction of these tip cartridges will remain their set temperature for the life of the cartridge. And these cartridges should last you a really long time, a lot longer than a traditional tip on a soldering iron because this unit powers up and heats up so quickly, you shouldn't need to just leave it on all the time. Instead, you can just turn it on and off when you need it. And that's probably the real benefit behind these Thermaltronic soldering stations is that they just heat up within seconds. They'll maintain the tip temperature even when something is trying to cool them and they will melt solder joints almost instantly. And that's really important because a lot of weaker solder irons tend to force you to leave the tip on that solder joint for too long. And then the heat tends to saturate whatever it is you're soldering. If you're soldering an electronic speed controller, that heat can wash through the speed controller and it is possible to burn up or fry the circuit board that way. The same thing can happen in a brushless motor. So getting the iron tip on that solder joint, melting it and doing your work quickly is really important. So for the serious RC enthusiast who's changing out plugs, changing out the wiring on his electronics, making his own adapters, wire leads, the 2000S and 9000S are pretty worthy investments. This 2000S is about 2.8 pounds. It's really not that bulky. You can put it on your workbench easily or even put it in a hauler bag and take it with you. 
The 9000S is a little bit bigger and heavier. It's got more power though, and it also has that LCD display showing you the power output, but it could also be manageable in a hauler bag or on your workbench. Also on both the units, the handles are really nice and convenient. It's pretty comfortable to use and it's really lightweight. There's almost no weight to this. It's just the cord kind of. But this cord is a really nice, flexible kind of silicon rubber or something. It doesn't seem to want to kink up easily and it's been pretty nice to work with. And both units do include the power supply, the tip, the handle, as well as the cradle piece, the brass curls, the sponge, everything that you need. Now for pricing, these aren't cheap tools. They're serious pro equipment, and they'll set you back a few hundred dollars, give or take, depending on what model you're looking at. Today was my first time using this thing, this 2000S, and it was almost like a religious experience. It is seriously powerful compared to my old Weller, where every time I need to use it, I crank the temperature knob all the way, and then I wait probably five minutes for it to heat up so I can do my work, but it definitely doesn't melt instantly, and I'm forced to leave the iron on my solder joints where this solder station is just immediate and instantaneous. It's just incredible. We actually only even have these soldering stations because our co-owner, co-founder, CEO, Kendall Bennett found out, tried them out, and was really blown away by them. Um, so now we've got them. So go check them out for yourself, the 2000S and 9000S. Links down below. Give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and leave us any questions or comments you have down below. I'm Brett from A-Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching.